Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Taurus? Nine of Wands, Sag Energy at the Foundation in reverse. Taurus, I'm getting the energy here where there's somebody around you, could be more than one person, that are telling you that you're paranoid, that you're not perceiving things correctly. I'm getting an energy of heavy gaslighting here. You're seeing the truth around a certain situation or karmic cycle that had been playing out in your life, and you're ready to move on from this. This does make sense because Mars has been going direct after being retrograde in Gemini, and this really speaks about this kind of energy. We went back over areas of our life, and we picked up some new details. We gathered more wisdom. But this happens without us really even being aware of it. It's just something that happens astrologically speaking. But now moving forward, as Mars is going direct, you're putting all of this into action. So what I'm getting is that the universe gave you a new perspective over your life. Areas where you can empower yourself and move forward in confidence into a new season in your life. What do we have at the sacral? Magician. I just got this in the Cancer reading. Gemini, Virgo energy at the sacral. So here you are now. You see very clearly how you can pull whatever this is into your life with ease because you've released baggage. You've let go of energies that do not serve your highest good. Really what it comes down to, Taurus, is cleaning out your auric field. Disposing of low vibrational energies that want to bring stagnation into your life. This can be related to romantic connections. This could be related to friendships. It could be related to your career. Things having to do with your purpose. It's going to be different all around, but you have been given the tools to move forward. I feel right now, Taurus, you guys are under direction of your higher self, and you're in this energy of really creating your own universe, building your life on this new foundation, and this could come down to behavioral patterns, belief systems. You're just changing the way you're doing things. There's a lot of self-confidence here. There's a lot of creative potential here, but this is after a time in your life where you were dealing with a lot of manipulation and trickery, lacking the concentration to carry out your plans because of the deceptive energies that were around you. I'm also picking up for some of you the energy of a dark magician, so take that as it fits, but an energy of manipulation, people speaking wickedness around your life. So you wouldn't step into this magician energy. And when you get magician at the sacral in my spreads, I don't know if there's a more powerful position. When it comes to your purpose and truly stepping into your north node position, because your sacral is all related to your creativity, your passion. When you get the magician there, anything is possible. You can manifest on a dime with ease. What do we have at the solar plexus? Six of Swords, Aquarius energy at the solar plexus. All of these difficulties that have been facing you in your life are now all being resolved by the universe because you made the decision to self-empower. A lot of success is going to follow all this trouble that you've had to endure up until this point. This is you moving on from all of this. For some of you, you're relocating. For others, it's just you transitioning on energetically speaking. This is the energy of some sort of rite of passage, but it's just an overall energy of you moving beyond this pain that you had to endure, standing fully in your confidence and feeling in control over your life for the first time ever in this particular capacity. This is the energy of you realizing that you're a powerful magician and that you can turn all your visions into reality with ease. What do we have at the heart, please? 
hangman, Pisces energy at the heart. You started to realize that these individuals had ulterior motives surrounding you and your life, wanting to keep you in a place of indecision and delays. Essentially, making you feel very victimized because you almost felt forgotten about by the universe. See, that's where your enemies want you. They want you to become a victim. Because when you victimize yourself, this is a form of self-sabotage. You're stuck. But this was done in a very manipulative way because the tactics they used against you were deep forms of gaslighting which was causing you to not see clearly and to self-sabotage. You're starting to understand what's taken place here. You're starting to see things from a newer perspective and you're finally ready to let go and move on past this restriction in your life. But in saying all of this, Taurus, you've gained a tremendous amount of wisdom from this cycle you've had to run. And you're starting to realize that this all had to happen exactly the way it did because this wisdom is a blessing. It's like you have the blueprint now on how you overcome these particular karmic cycles in your waking life. You see, you can empower other people with this sort of information. What you can build on this wisdom, well, the possibilities are truly endless. Your time, your life minutes afforded you this wisdom. And make no mistake, there's many other people out there struggling to overcome the same cycles you yourself have already overcome. And you being the keeper of that wisdom puts you in a very significant position, Taurus. What do we have at the throat? Five of Cups, Scorpio, energy at the throat. You're finally ready to move on past this energy of feeling like a victim, like you were forgotten, this energy of gaslighting. You were so focused on the sorrow and loss in meaningless things that kept you in this cycle of sadness. You're moving on past this energy of all these anxieties and troubles from these unsuspected sources. So again, it's an energy of heavy gaslighting that the Taurus Collective is overcoming realizing that you were in like these karmic cycles that were repeating over and over and over that mean absolutely nothing when it comes to your purpose and the meaning for your life influenced to take a path in your life that is the opposite direction of your actual purpose the divine's like hey Taurus don't focus on what you've lost it means absolutely nothing we have everything for you over here that's all an illusionary tactic to keep you stuck inside that karmic cycle. You are actually the magician, Taurus. You can manifest anything you want on a dime, but they don't want you to realize that. What do we have at the third eye? King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy at the third eye. This is you now realizing what's taking place here. Oh, I'm getting a very, um, very serious energy from you, Taurus. It's like an energy of you realizing you're the magician and that these individuals are trying to hide that from you. You're like, you mean to tell me I could have manifested on a dime this entire time and you wanted to keep that from me? Huh, that's interesting. Well, alrighty then. Taurus, you all have this very brilliant mind about you, very analytical. You're observing things very keenly in your life now after you've been given sight to see things from this higher perspective and you're now in this position where you are giving the orders, you are giving the directives. This is what they were trying to keep you from. It's like in a past life you were a king, and then in this life cycle, you were made to feel like a peasant by all your enemies from that previous life cycle. And now you're coming online, you're realizing the truth around who you are, how powerful you truly are, and how you can actually manifest the life of your dreams with ease. What do we have at the crown? Two of Wands, Aries energy at the crown. And here you are progressing forward, making plans for the future now, based off of this new realization around who you truly are and how powerful you really are. 
There's a lot of success here, Taurus, that you have coming towards you simply by you realizing how capable you truly are and standing fully in your personal power. What do we have the foundation, please, from the occult era? Three of Swords, Libra Energy, Rom. There's a lot of pain that you've overcome, but now it's being followed by this readjustment and this fresh understanding by the ending of this cycle in your life. You're releasing all of this sorrow and heartache that you've had to endure to get to where you are now. I feel like the divine is working with you to heal you. I'm feeling energy here where a lot of you feel very let down, disappointed with the way you were treated. You're still dumbfounded at how these individuals kept the truth away from you for so long. What do we have at the sacral? Six of Pentacles, Amy, Taurus, that's your energy. This is an energy here of coveting. It goes along perfectly with what we're saying. Very greedy, very envious energy here. Coveting your gifts, coveting your life. They thought if they could keep you from this new life cycle, somehow they would get it. I mean, it's just, the thinking here is, they thought that if they could keep you away from stepping into alignment with your higher self, that somehow they would be able to do this for themselves. Six of Pentacles right underneath this magician. It's like you had the golden ticket this entire time, and it was kept from you. They hid it from you, those closest to you. But it's like your name is printed on it, so they couldn't even use it. This kind of energy. And you went throughout your life feeling very cheated because you knew on a core level that you were destined for something. Something felt imbalanced. Something felt off. Like you were living somebody else's life because you were. What do we have at the solar plexus? Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Belleth at the solar plexus. Further emphasis around jealousy, envy, this is somebody who indulges in daydreams. It's like you have all the goods. You have what it takes to turn those dreams into reality. But then you have this person around you indulging in daydreams, talking to you like, hey, wouldn't it be so cool? And you're like, I suppose. And they were keeping something from you the entire time. What do we have at the heart? Ten of Swords, Malfast, Cruelty. Really does go along perfectly with what we're saying here. This is a whole new start for you, Taurus. However this resonates for you, there's an energy of moving on and there's an energy of recovery. Also, emphasis around forgiveness, especially at this heart position. Releasing this energy so you don't allow this energy to trickle its way into your new timeline. The worst has passed, Taurus. The runway's clear for you. There's this energy of regeneration, the divine working on you, regenerating you, liberating you. Some of you could be feeling a little fatigued right now because you are closing out a major cycle in your life. You're feeling tired. Just relax, Taurus. You're going to be feeling better soon. The divine is working on you energetically. This is why you may be feeling a little bit run down right now. And then we have Rahel, Love and Submission, Three of Swords. So we have Three of Swords from the Occult Tarot and Three of Swords from the Angel Tarot. So here you are now healing and recovering from this cycle, from whatever this is here. Emphasis in this reading around releasing any sort of pain and sorrow, it keeps coming up. And again, emphasis around forgiveness. And that's just something you do privately, Taurus. You don't need to have FaceTime with anyone. You just do it privately. Make a ritual out of it. Helps you release these energies, and it's very effective. Eight of Wands, and there it is. And now the energy starts moving. See, the energy was very stuck right around here and sort of up in here, feeling sort of clouded and thick. But now it's releasing Eight of Wands, Sag energy at the throat. Vihuel, the great and exalted God, grandeur, makes one passionate toward God. So this is an energy of movement, action. Everything starts accelerating at a rapid speed. 
as you're being prepared for this new life cycle. A lot of lost time being made up for. Things advancing very quickly for you. And this is how it always works. When you cut people out of your life, when you move away from karmic cycles that don't serve your highest good, once the healing has solidified and the divine has rejuvenated you, everything just moves forward quickly. And before you know it, you're on a whole new timeline. And one day you'll wake up and you'll think back to the past and the past will seem like a fading memory. What do we have at the third eye? King of Cups, Rochelle. God seeing everything. Restitution. Finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. Cancer Scorpio Pisces with this King of Cups right underneath the King of Swords. So there's an energy here of stoicism now. There's an energy here of emotional maturity. Very balanced, very wise, very controlled. You've been through a lot, Taurus, and you've managed to stay very stoic and composed as you've been transitioning over this threshold. You haven't reacted. That's why you're starting to advance quicker. You understand that you must release as much of this energy as you possibly can relating to these individuals in these karmic cycles. It's all dead weight. Just smile, Taurus. And move forward, knowing that you have better days ahead. What do we have the crown that closes up, Taurus? The tower. Uriel, Aries energy, the fire of God. Disruption, warns of disasters, aids in transformation. Taurus, this is a whole new path in life for you. And you're having this flash of inspiration, realizing that nothing will ever be the same ever again. There's this major destruction around your life relating to whatever this is, but what you find is, Taurus, once you start having a closer look after the smoke is cleared, you start to realize that there's a whole new universe around you, right on the heels of your transformation. Taurus, this is the energy that's available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.